Hey everybody, Paul Abernathy here. So look, if you're on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you're in those Facebook groups and you have people that are throwing out information as if they believe it is gospel. Um, look, I'm not here to, to talk bad about anybody, but I always say to you, consider the source. Listen to people that actually work in the code development process, people that engage with other code professionals, not these folks that go on these Facebook groups or simply write books, but don't actually get involved in the process because the problem with it is they're only giving their opinion, but it's not an opinion based on interaction with other code professionals. So very few, very few code professionals actually serve in the code development process other than just submitting code public inputs and things like that. Why is that important to you? Okay, I have been teaching the National Logical Code for over 34 years. Um, I am on all your social media platforms. I put out training. I do live training with students. I do corporate training. But I also have that website, paulabernathy.com, where I give my own commentary and I'll answer your questions. Now, why should you listen to something that I say over somebody that's on social media that you really don't know what their background is. They think they know, or maybe some individuals that are on some chat room forums that act like they're extremely knowledgeable, but can you trust their source or are they just simply propagating information that they want you to believe? All of my answers that I give to people on paulabernathy.com are based on solid research, okay? Now, you're free to agree to disagree, but when we consider the source, let's see, should you consider what I have to tell you as probably uh, along the lines of reliable information versus what you read on TikTok or what people share with other people? And they get into these arguments, these banters, these debates over stuff, and they swear they know what they're talking about. Okay, first thing you gotta ask them, have you ever been involved in the code development process? How many years have you been doing it? It's so easy today for somebody to create a website or to create a Facebook group and portray themselves as a code professional. Anybody can create a website. Anybody can do that. Now with me, you're more than happy to Google my background. I'm an open book, but I wanna show you something. This is where you consider your sources and this should be the first place that you go. All right, so let's do this. This right here is Link. And I wanna show you a couple things here. First, this is Code Making Panel 5, deals with Article 200 and 250. Who do you think that is right there? That's me, all right? So I've been serving on this code panel for many years. I specialize in grounding and bonding, things about grounding and bonding, grounded conductors. But because I'm engaged in the process and I'm always engaging with other code panels, I stay up to date on different changes that are happening, happening throughout the NEC. I talk to other committee members and I get their input. But you know what? It's not just code panel five. Let's go down a little bit. Let's go to code panel 17 right here. Code panel 17, there's my name again right here. Okay, look, I may be retiring from this code panel soon um, because again, it takes a lot of time and you people have no idea the amount of time that it takes to commit to these type of things. Um, so I've spent literally uh, years and years and years serving on these committees, serving on UL committees, um, serving on NEMA committees. So look, when you think about resources and you're on these social media platforms and you're listening to what people say, that's okay. And you're entitled to form your own opinion. Okay. I want you to do that, but you need to take what they say for a grain of salt. This is why I created the website, paulabernathy.com so that you can ask me questions to clear the air and get a reliable resource that will be backed up with code references. You will always get code references from me to support what I tell you. Don't believe what somebody just says to you. You need to research this and you need to trust in reliable sources. Well, what better resource can you get than somebody who's been involved in the code development process for many cycles? 
That's what I'm here for, folks. So hopefully you stop listening to what people say on social media. Do not trust the educators who put out content but never really have served on any committee. They don't know the inner workings. They don't know the discussions that took place. You have a lot of these people that create websites uh, and, and they get a lot of subscribers and they create these TikTok pages and they talk a lot like they know code. Hell, they might even have learned through me. But the reality is you have to ask yourself, what have you done? Have you written any books? Have you written any articles? Have you been published? Are you a reliable source? Well, again, the whole point here is not to discredit anyone. The point is be careful. There is so much misinformation being propagated on these social media platforms. Uh, it's causing people to fail inspections. It's causing people problems when they get in an argument with inspectors. Uh, there's inspectors that are enforcing things that they're not clear of. All of these things are not good. And so why not use our resource, paulabernathy.com, okay? You can even go to our website, get our mobile app, and you can interact with us. We want to make sure you get reliable answers, not all this misinformation. Again, trust your source. It doesn't take you long to see my background. Think about the background of the person that you're taking advice from. That's all I got to say. God bless. Take care.